Bradley here with Pink Dragon Artist Syndicate with artist Jerry Gant. Jerry's a big part of New Jersey art scene, and in fact the international art scene, and I just wanted to get a few words from him about the MacFest and his concept of art as a weapon. Exactly. And when we think of weapons, it comes in many shapes and forms. And in this case, in the content of community that's really have, I ain't going to say voiceless, but is now having a huge voice, you know what I mean? And it comes through art, it comes through our poetry, it comes through our music, it comes through our dance, fashion, hairstyles, and jewelry. And so in that context, there is why with Linda using that slogan, first thing that comes to my mind is Fela Kuti, when he said music is his culture, you know, and culture is just how we think in a way of life. And here we are, you hear the sounds, the good vibes, the paintings, it's, as well as you, you know, Thank so you. no you. problem. What are you doing today specifically? I don't, you're not painting today, right? I'm not painting today. You're not featuring some of your three-dimensional work? Totally, or? and what I call mini sculptures, designed as earrings or wearable art, as well as just being supportive too to the other the emerging generation of artists. Sometimes we all need to be inspired and just to see those who have laid the groundwork mm -hmm. and still being active and not removing myself from that community. Because I like to break that bridge that separates the new school from the old school, right. the traditionalists from the formalists and all that other stuff with the graphicness and right. la 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 la. So you're, so. so you're in a position now to mentor, being an OG, you're mentoring the emerging artists that are coming up in the area. That, and as well as always being learned, open to learning new things from those who are still journeymen, the generations before me. Okay. You know, so again, that bridge is always very lovely connected. And one of the things that always been strong for me is that artistic connection right. that allows me to hang with the first or second generation of painters or sculptors and the new voices that's coming up. So I'm like in happily in the middle. So I have fun. So I got my feet in like both That's a great circles. place to be. Yes. That's yes. a great place to be. I do. Tell us a little about your history with Pink Dragon Artist Management. The first time I met Linda Street was in a nice quaint little store that she used to operate and, and had a vision to make happen called um, a funky little shop. Wasn't that it? A funky little shop? And this was pre-dragon when she was just like maybe a dragonette and going in, a baby dragon, you know. And when I went into the store, I looked around and the same concept of art is a weapon was her um, one-man army t-shirts and it was more social affirmations mm -hmm. and that's what that store represented about taking one of a kind collective visions whether it was jewelry whether it was clothing or just whether we had poetry readings there uh, I, i've experienced i experienced um radio, live broadcasting and just a communal circle where people from different streams of incomes different communities and different um uh, understandings of what culture and art is right. and to be happily under one roof and engaging in that and through the years Linda was one time my acting manager business partner homie um, just a good person to know and to here it is ten years later as well as yourself to know that it has no beginning it has no end it's a continuum and it takes many different shapes and forms besides just the traditional route. And her being who she is, she starts out as a traditionalist. She was in corporate for 30 years with Sharon Plow. And then she's a testament that what's inside of you can't be suppressed but for so long. Right. And that inner voice, that inner vision must actualize. And so right. that story was a testimony. And me, always been on outside the cuff, that was straight my, you know, my mantra right. is art is got to be the weapon. Because right. we got to keep on shooting through. And I tell people when I think about 
the Mike, I got the Michael Jackson disease because I'm a smooth criminal, you know what I mean? And when I say that, it's like when I'm around mediocrity, I gotta take my clippers out because I gotta bust storm. And if you tell me just to settle for what's the living, for That's what I should. when you bring out a boomerang. Bingo. Right. And that whole thing, so that language is definitely empowering when it's put in the context that yes, weaponry is our mental space, our spiritual space, in some places our financial spaces. Exactly. So that we can cut through all of the, you know, the narrative is not who you know, what you know. And in my book is what you can do to get to where you want to be known. Exactly. And using that as a catalyst to plow forward. Exactly. Well, thank you so much, no Jerry Gant. And thank you, Lisa. All so right. How are you doing? You. All has been well? I'm great. All right, and that's what's up. All right, that's all those zooming in. This is what it is. Artist to 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 artist. And the beat goes on. Pink Dragon. Art <laughs> is the weapon. There we go.